Hi, I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. I have no idea if this will work. This is a 1930 dictaphone, the Cosmograph, made in Dresden. I bought this as a Dachbodenfund, meaning it was found in the attic. When it arrived, I was surprised how good everything looked. Everything seemed to be in absolute tip-top museum condition. It comes with this Schlauch, this hose where you're supposed to speak into and these vibrations that you get from speaking in here will then be transmitted to a disc. Two modes, one for Wiedergabe, meaning playback, an open mode, so it's three actually, and recording. And I did a little scratching on there, but that was just manually. And you can, oh, I can hear the scratching. Oh, okay, let me show you. Hmm, chances are this will work. There's no amplification here. You're supposed to put on this stethoscope instead of the hose to listen back. There's no direct power on. I guess I just press motor. Hmm, motor is running, I hear it, but nothing's moving. Ah! Hi. Okay, so I have to press this to start. So it's in ready mode now. I've set it to 78. That's probably the highest speed. So does half speed? All right, here we go. Hi, I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. Oh. Maybe try a fresh disc. This is celluloid. Same material as film was made. Sounds nice. So let's just get this in here. So. Set it to record. And then go. Hi, I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. I'm recording on the Cosmograph from the Dictier Machine Fabric GmbH Dresden. Let's try that again. Let's see if anything sounds good here. And maybe use the headphones this time for listening back. So the recording works. It's not the best, but I think we can optimize it. I'm gonna try to clean this and make a track.
I'm still functioning as well at age 93 as the Cosmograph, I would be very happy. This recorder is very specialized for voice, since you get this airtight enclosure, so it makes it hard to pick up anything that isn't very loud. Back in the days when they cut direct to discs or wax cylinders, they used huge cones to amplify the sound and they created special instruments that would work and amplify the acoustic sound way more. I really enjoy the texture I get from this, especially when sampled into the Akai S612. You get beautiful aliasing, which combines the analog world and the digital sound, a texture that I feel transcends times. If you want to do similar experiments, there is a new unit you can use, and I just got one myself. This is the Gacken Toy Record Maker, which was recently reissued by Teenage Engineering, but you can still get the original Gacken imported from Japan. And this is the same principle. are in 1930 now with this and I'm basically walking my way down to a wax cylinder. And if you got an idea why I could check out wax cylinder recordings, let me know. I really want to try that too. If you are my Patreon, you will get a nice sample pack with sounds from this video and both directly recorded here and also through the Akai for that extra texture. Thank you all for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.